ball screens, the defense of the Aces. They're going underneath all the guards right now. Diggin Smith are a little too strong, really. Skyler Diggin Smith finishing around the basket. With Phoenix taking those perimeter shots, they're getting second opportunities with those long rebounds. Clock is at four. Sophie Cunningham, this is yours. Then they give up the free throw line, 21 to 11. When the offense is gonna run through you, you better be pretty good from the free throw line. Diggins, excited about that one. Foul is on Wilson and and one. Well, Skylar Diggins is doing all she can to manufacture points for the Mercury. Remember, they're coming off two losses from the Minnesota Lynx. Very frustrating. They were very frustrated with how they played and how well they allowed Minnesota to play. I look for Skylar Diggins' two-man game with Brittany Griner. Sophie Cunningham, devastating blow. Four for ten are the Mercury from beyond the arc. Skyler Diggins Smith, boy, her finishes are pretty. Another one reversed. Well, Bill Lambeer has put Kia Stokes in the game. So both coaches are resting their centers, Cam Beige and. Skyler Diggins looking for the right option, hand in the face. Brittany Griner knocks it down. Plum's defense. So energetic, tries to go under it. Skyler Diggins Smith takes advantage. Plum chasing Diggins. Perfect delivery from Diggins into Griner. Diggins over to Griner. All the points in overtime. Offensively. Shot's got to go, it's two seconds. Diggins Smith, what a delivery for three. Uh-oh. Nine consecutive points unanswered for the Phoenix Mercury. Well, the difference in the defense for the Aces against the Mercury is they're letting the Mercury catch the ball where they want it. If you let them catch it within their spots, of course they're going to make you pay. And Skylar Diggins did. Skylar Diggins Smith did exactly that. As the Aces try to find revenge against the Lynx. 